Hi there, this is Daisy. I'm home. In this video, I want to sum up my 21 day quarantine experience. This quarantine restriction is a COVID zero tact. I fully understand the need to quarantine travelers. However, in what way and for how long? Long quarantine does pay a humanitarian cost. The loss of freedom, confining a person in a room without fresh air does take a toll on mental health. Family members can't see each other. For those who can't afford for the long quarantine, they don't know when they can go home. Parents cannot attend graduation. Relatives cannot attend wedding or even funeral. Grandparents cannot see their newborn grandchildren. When a clear majority of countries sets the quarantine period to 14 days or less, is it necessary for the Hong Kong government to quarantine its people for 21 days? How about testing the person in quarantine who are called confinee by the government once every three days? I did not do any test after day 12, not until day 19 before I finished my quarantine that they did the last test for me. It is hoped that the government will consider science and humanity in setting a more sensible quarantine restrictions in the long run. Uh, my last day feeling, well, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep well, so I woke up at half past four, getting ready to go. I was looking at the dawn breaking. It took only a few minutes to check out. The hotel guard was trying to help and wave hand at me while I was leaving. He seemed to feel my joy of being able to go home. And then the taxi driver, Mr. Ao, is really caring. He came early, so I was home around half past six. I started booking his car since 2019 when Hong Kong was in chaos. He gave me an impression that he's reliable and caring. We had a good chat uh, during the short trip. Uh, being reliable and caring, he seems to have a rather good business. His passengers in quarantine sent him photos of food. He also delivered food to their hotels. He's providing services more than just being a taxi driver. That's his added value. We talked about the plight of losing freedom and fresh air. We are joking that going to jail wasn't an option for us, although inmates still enjoy some fresh air. I feel love from both my biological and church families. I feel care from my friends. I feel the care of people around me, including the taxi driver, the security guard, and other hotel staff. Love is all around when one is in difficulty. With hope and a positive perspective, one can overcome daily and even life problems. I moved three times in the last two months into four different accommodations. I moved from an old village house infested with spiders, slugs, and insects in Guildford to a new studio flat in a modern building in North Greenwich. Then, I moved from a relaxing lifestyle to a confined quarantine in a hotel. At last, I recovered my freedom and came home. Very interesting journey indeed. Guildford was a heavenly town with fine weather, fresh air and pretty flowers everywhere. So my daughter and I didn't mind to live in an old house. The building in North Greenwich is modern but the environment is like Hong Kong, a noisy concrete jungle under rather extreme weather that we can hardly find any flowers. The hotel is quiet and lifeless. It's almost put my metabolism to a halt. I was so tired yesterday when my metabolism had to run in full gear. I had to unpack the luggage, clean the house, buy groceries and teach. After all, it's home sweet home.
What kind of lifestyle suits me? I asked myself. How about you? What kind of accommodation do you like? Jesus talked about different accommodations in a parable. The one built on the stone was the most secure. I feel secure with God's presence. Probably he is my stone where my accommodation is. Jesus is my cornerstone. I've realized it's not the house itself that matters. It's the hope and sense of security from God that I need. In Psalm 118, the poet starts with a praise for God's mercy and deliverance. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Then he cried out to God with his testimony. When heart pressed, I cried to the Lord. He brought me into a spacious place. The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. The poet held faith in him that Jesus is the cornerstone. I will give you thanks for you answered me. You have become my salvation. The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The Lord has done this and it is marvelous in our eyes. At the end, the poets praise God for shining on him and praise for his love. The Lord is God and he has made his light shine on us. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. I thank God for his light shone on me during the quarantine. Uh, it's a pleasure to share my quarantine experience with all of you. I hope to see you again. Goodbye.